evening and welcome to News 10 Night Watch. The summer construction season is in full swing across the Wabash Valley. We've told you about schools and road projects. In Robinson, Illinois, one church is finally coming back together. More than a year and a half after a fire devastated their historic sanctuary on Christmas night. News 10's Matt Gregory has the story. It's new for you tonight on Night Watch. Flames of destruction, 19 months later, now walls of construction for the First United Methodist Church in downtown Robinson, Illinois. What are folks saying around the church about it? Oh, they're just elated. They're, uh, they just can't wait. The pleasant but uncharacteristically cool July air is perfect on this Tuesday afternoon as construction crews laid the first of more than 100 roof trusses into place. As soon as we get the trusses on the old, then we'll move over and we'll start uh, erecting the th other three walls for the new part, get those all shored up. When we last caught up with Ken Matsey, the final plans were, well, not final, but on this afternoon, the vision of the new sanctuary is more vivid than ever. Very similar to the old, the old building. We'll have the big stained glass window that was in the front. We'll have it in there. We'll have the bell tower with the original bell from 1899 in it. So it will look a lot like the old one. When the church was originally built in the 1890s, it cost the congregation around $15,000. But this renovation right here behind me is going to cost the congregation $3 million. Matsy says, luckily, all of that is covered by the insurance from the fire. Everybody in the city has gathered around us and they wanted us to stay downtown. And uh, so we are, and it's just gonna be a, a great new addition to a downtown that is going through revitalization of its own. A faith revival of sorts, renovating history. In Robinson with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. Matsy says this event has sparked interest throughout the congregation on their history.